The majority of residents who live at this Mesa apartment complex receive government assistance for serious mental illness. And less than a month ago, they were informed that they had to leave when their lease was up, leaving them to scramble to find housing. Because I'm 60, it, I've been here, this is home, this is home. Wendy Studebaker is one of the eight residents here, a part of what she calls a family, bonded together by serious mental illnesses or SMI. Some people have been calling this place home for a decade. Now they're being told they have to leave. We are going to be torn apart, completely torn apart, all eight of us. The tenants who pay their bills through government assistance received this letter from COPA Health on May 17th, stating, quote, you can stay in your apartment until your lease expires, end quote, or move before July 1st and get a $1,000 check from COPA Health plus moving costs. The letter also came with a housing voucher and a way to search for another place to live that Wendy and her neighbor, Solis Yomez, says haven't been much help in finding a new home. Everybody here went into panic overdrive. I mean, just what do we do now? You know, we're going to be scattered. It's crazy. I, I'm all stressed out because of this. A spokesperson for Copa Health told Arizona's family while they intend to sell the complex, it'll only be placed on market when all residents have a supportive transition plan. If they had come to us as a community and said, this is what we can do for you. We've got this place, this place, this place. That would have been something. There's a community meeting scheduled here on Monday, June 12th. COPA Health will also meet with residents to assist them with the transition. We'll keep you updated here and on our AZ Family News app. In Mesa, I'm David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.